Take a property tour, shall we? Brian Lebo here, and today I'm really excited to show off this massive 7,300 square foot home that has just been remodeled in Anthem Country Club. So without further ado, let's check this out. Now, one of the first things you're gonna notice is it's become very, very popular, this like Southern California, white French oak looking flooring. So the entire downstairs, other than the wet areas you'll find are this French oak very luxurious, nice and warm. And you'll see the tonal with the accent walls uh, opposing the white walls. So without further ado, here we are in the formal living room. Um, very nice job, very simple fireplace that they created. This is all custom with a nice light tonal accent wall. This is a Dimplex electric fireplace. Dimplex is actually my favorite manufacturer. We don't have the fireplace on right now because it would tend to be a little loud competing with the mic, but nice job over here. Now, as we swing over to this area, now we have the formal living area. Now, one of the things that you may notice already is that these French doors that lead to the outside are definitely different than we've ever seen. I actually have never seen these doors <laughs> this is something that is not going to show up on video, but these are cast iron doors. These doors weigh so much, they must have cost a fortune. And that's something we're gonna discuss because there's a lot of decisions in this house that are very interesting. Some areas they spent a fortune on like these doors, whereas other areas they kind of skimped on in my opinion, and when we're talking three and a half million dollars. Now, we have 12 foot ceilings, really lovely light fixture. And when we come over to this area, you can see how they kind of partitioned this formal dining to what we'll see in a moment is actually your breakfast nook area. So these are really more for decoration, but you have this wine rack. But again, I think this is more decorative. This house does feature a wine room, which we will see later. Now, over in this area is what I just alluded to, which is our breakfast nook, really nice lighting. And again, we have these cast iron doors. Now, from this vantage point, you can kind of see one thought. I don't know the actual cost for these doors, but they are prohibitive. How much better would this have been to just blow out this wall and put in like a 20 foot slider? Yes, this would have cost $25,000, but these doors weren't cheap either. And being on the golf course and with his indoor outdoor living, I would have loved to have seen that done. Over here, we do have another door, which we'll see in a little bit. But let's talk about this kitchen because this is where we normally really start off. Now, of course, we have custom cabinetry throughout this entire kitchen. Um, very simple, very minimal, kind of the theme for this property. So we have the minimalistic cabinets. We have our brass hardware. And here's where things get a little weird. So here we have quartz countertops, but if you can tell, these are pretty much like prefab countertops. They're only one and a half inches thick, as opposed to over here on the island, you can see that this was a custom fabricated job. So for three and a half million dollars, I would have liked to have seen a three inch relief. That would have been nicer. Over here, we have an opposing island. So this island, instead of being the white quartz, we obviously have the black, and it's in a matte finish. Very elegant, very nice. <sighs> Let's talk about peas. 
If you've been watching, you know what, when I'm in the kitchen, what's my number one pet peeve? It's when you have a home that's on the higher side of the price range and only has one dishwasher. Oh guys, I wish you got that one right. We only have one dishwasher. The nice part is this does have custom pan, uh, paneling. So even though it's a Z-Line dishwasher, we do have a custom panel. We got our farm sink here and then matching. I really do like this. This is the new black chrome by Z-Line. So we have a 48 inch dual fuel range. And then, you know, this is one thing Ashley and I were talking about. What do you guys think? She loved the fact that they shrouded this. So above us is the matching 48 inch vent hood that's been shrouded in the same custom cabinetry. It really gives this that minimal clean look. Um, I'm on the fence. Uh, flanked in the back, we have the porcelain backsplash that kind of mimics like a, a marble. Uh, and then now we have accent cabinetry. So now you can see the lower cabinets are black and then this wall, these upper cabinets are black. You gotta be really careful. These have kind of a, a matte finish to it. So you can kind of see up here, any grease on your fingertips is going to show. So this is not a kid friendly application, but it is very elegant. Gotta hit you with the ooh-ah sound. We have our built-in Z-Line uh, microwave. Ooh, ah. We have dual refrigeration. So this is actually Frigidaire, but as you can see, we do have dual refrigeration. This is the refrigerator that is the freezer. All right, swinging along this direction. This is the formal, well, I shouldn't say formal, but this is the family room area. You're going to see that there's a lot of I don't want to say redundant spaces, but there are multiple areas for entertaining and gathering. So I absolutely love this. We have the same uh, fireplace that we had over in the formal living room here, electric, very nice. But this fireplace, guys, what do you think? I absolutely, they killed it. I love this fireplace. This is just monolithic and looks amazing. Obviously your television should go up here. It, these, uh, the art is actually hiding the plugs for the television. Now, like I talked about over in between the, the formal dining and the actual breakfast nook, once again, we have these incredible and incredibly expensive cast iron French doors. But how amazing would this have been to just put in a 15 foot slider right to your indoor outdoor living. To me, that would have been great. The one thing about this space is it's a for a 7,300 square foot home, this kitchen and family room is a little bit on the tight side. You can kind of see how they have this design with opposing sofas. In reality, if someone's cooking in the kitchen and you're watching television, you'd probably have a different configuration and it would look a little bit tighter. All right, let's head down this hallway so I can show you a few things. This is again where things get a little wonky. Over here to your right, this is the pantry. They did a really nice job with simple cabinetry, but again, they spent a fortune on these cast iron doors. Beautiful. However, I don't know that you need this cast iron expensive glass door for your pantry because next we have the powder bathroom. Now, again, what doesn't show up on film is that these are just simple, inexpensive MDF hollow doors, very cheap doors. I would have loved to save the money on that pantry, use them towards solid core doors for 3.5 million. That would have been a better decision. We have custom cabinetry, kind of neat that we were able to utilize this under the sink. Above mount sink, we have the same white quartz countertop that we had on the back of the kitchen. And this is really cool. Throughout this house, the interior design is spectacular. We have these drop down pendant lights, but how cool are these? I mean, this is so neat. You have gears for your hot and cold. I just love that look. All right, keeping it moving. Now we come down this hallway. This is where we have some of the secondary bedrooms. So coming in here is our first secondary bedroom. Yeah, it's a bedroom. There's not a lot of excitement. But what I do wanna say is, while I love this light fixture over here, there are no recessed lights. Am I being picky? Does anyone care? Again, I think for three and a half million, just throw in four recessed lights, cost you like 480 bucks, not a big deal. Now over here, we have our Jack and Joe bathroom. And again, this wasn't a custom home, so a lot of times when you're in custom home territory, you do have every bedroom being a suite. This is not so. So this Jack and Jill services these two rooms. 
Over here we have our sinks, we have custom cabinetry, we have the white coarse countertops, undermount sinks, pretty normal, lovely mirror. And then in here we'll give you B-roll. This is our shower and tub. So important if you have small children, maybe a little fur baby that you need to wash, you do have a bathtub. In here, once again, not super exciting, just a nice, simple secondary bedroom, no recessed lights. Coming this direction, this is where we have the laundry room. Now, Ashley, let's see if you can kind of, can you guys tell? I like that they did a custom application for your washer dryer. So while your washer dryer fits in here, you can fold clothing. Very, very nice, good idea, and flanked by quartz on both sides. The problem is, it's a little narrow. Can, can you see? It's, it's a little bit cramped in here. I don't know why this popped out quite so far, but it's a little bit cramped. Behind us is one of the two garages. So this is a two car garage that has the water heaters, etc. Nothing too exciting. Uh, but again, yeah, this is our laundry room entry. All right, keeping it moving this direction, we're heading back towards the front of the home. This is kind of an odd space. Um, you can see that this is currently situated as kind of an informal um, office, if you will. Very nice, and if you didn't make this an office, I don't know what in the hell you would <laughs> use this for. This makes the most sense, I'm gonna run that. But again, lovely light fixture, but no recessed lighting. And especially when you come over to this area, this is very visible when you first enter the property. This is a dark space, even in broad daylight. No recessed lighting. This would have been cool to have some art and, and maybe a spotlight on it. And here we are back at the front where we started. Now, later in the video, I'm gonna show you what's behind this door because this is one of the coolest features, especially for Las Vegas. If you live in the Midwest or back East, this ain't nothing to you. But for us West Coasties, this is really cool. But we're gonna get to that later. So coming back to where we started, over this direction, this is where things get kind of interesting. So let's check out what appears to be a primary suite. Now this is kind of cool because this primary suite is more like a wing. So stopping right here, you could actually partition that off. Over here, this is set up currently as like a wellness room. Now I have to imagine you also could have put a door here, an entrance by the front perhaps, made this into a separate bedroom. This is more like a wing. But again, this is a wellness room that brings to the front of the house. Kind of weird. Again, no recessed lights, just a nice lamp. Kind of unnecessary for a wellness, but very elegant. All right, now into the suite. One thing again, inexpensive, super light MDF doors, kind of a bummer. We're gonna start in this bathroom and then we'll come back to this area. We have his and her toilets, so that's, well, can we even say his and her? If we can't say master suite, we have to say primary. What are we supposed to call the toilets? Toilet one and toilet two? All right, we're gonna run that. Okay, now that we are in this bathroom, we have 12 by 48 inch flooring, very nice, very elegant. We have all custom cabinetries, we have our makeup vanity, we have the same white coarse countertops that we saw previously in the powder bathroom and in the kitchen. Lovely, lovely pendant lights surrounding. Nice job with the mirrors. Ashley and I were talking about this. What are your thoughts? I get that this bathroom is a little bit different. Not sure I love the, uh, the sage backsplash tile here. Not my particular taste, but you guys tell me, do you like that? Am I too boring? <laughs> but there you go. Obviously this is his side. And then of course we have toilet number two, since we won't say his toilet. Now, here we have the, sh the shower. Again, we have the same tile that I wasn't particularly fond of behind the bathtub in here. But now we find ourselves with two shower heads and two wands. Kind of, I feel like I'm, uh, I should be a, a, a flight attendant on a plane, right? Two, two, your exits are this way. All right, maybe I shouldn't be humorous. All right, now let's check this out. In here, we have a pretty great closet. Over here, super deep, and then obviously you can see around. This is a custom closet. They did a lovely job. No door even, so, you know, this is kind of a feature. All right, well, let's head back to where we started in this suite, which is this kind of retreat area here. Um, no recessed lights, so it's gonna be very dark here at night. We just have this one kind of accent light. Um, yeah, it's a nice area to come into. Probably absolutely worthless, but very nice. 
Let's talk about this in a moment from a different angle. Now, here's very, this floor plan is very unique, very unique. So now we step down three steps into the actual sleeping quarters of this suite. So pretty simple, we have our bed, we have 12 foot high ceilings, lovely fixture, again, no recessed lighting. Uh, again, here we have the cast iron doors. Here's where like details come into play. And even though I've been critical of a lot of things, a lot of this house is wonderful. So one thing that's very, very interesting is with these cast iron doors that obviously are black, these windows were a different color. So what they did is they custom painted every single window frame black to match these windows. So, I mean, again, they spent a lot of time, a lot of effort and a lot of money to make sure that everything tied together. However, how cool would this be if we had a 15 foot slider, especially being downstairs, going right to the pool, this could be open. This would be awesome. I would have loved to seen this become a 15 foot slider. All right, now we're gonna pivot this way before we finish up. Now I have to presume, I'm hoping that this is load bearing. If this wasn't load bearing, how awesome would this be? If it were me and if it were possible, I would have removed this post, removed this pony wall, and then really made this into like a cool New York style loft and extended these steps all the way over. Then this area would have been completely open. You can even reconfigure this. Uh, I just think that would have been sensational along with the slider. Maybe we would have had to jack the price up a little bit more, but I think it would be super justified if we had sliders throughout the back and open this up. All right, we have completely finished the downstairs. Let's go upstairs and see what's going on up there because there's something I did not expect at all. <laughs> so let's go upstairs and see what I'm talking about. All right, guys, now we are upstairs. There's some really cool things here. First of all, we saw the primary, or did we? There's definitely something cool lurking behind this fireplace accent wall. But before we get to that reveal, we gotta take care of a little bit of boring business. So first, let's check out a couple secondary bedrooms. Now, this is just a basic secondary uh, bedroom. We have a closet over here, very cool light fixture. Again, no recessed lights, on and on and on. But this here is neat, I love this. We have French doors that lead out to this balcony area. It's a good size. And over here, this overlooks the entry to the house, the motorcade. Very cool spot and a really nice size balcony for both bedrooms shared. Over here, kind of redundant, we have a secondary bedroom, no recessed lights. Closet over here, it's a secondary bedroom, guys. Now, um, in here, we've got 12 by 24 inch flooring that looks like concrete. Very, this is more my style. Great cabinetry or white quartz countertops, nice mirror, accent lights. But I like what they did here in the shower. Uh, instead of having that sage green, we've got a nice different kind of like taupe cream uh, tile for the showers around. It's nice, it's simple, it just services those two bedrooms. So it's not worth talking too much about. But what is worth talking about, what's very, very much worth talking about is this. Like I told you, we saw the primary suite downstairs, right? So what is this? Come check it out. All right, now up here we have obviously a dry bar. So if you ever woke up in the middle of the night and needed an alcoholic beverage or needed to make a mimosa, you got it right here. So cool, we got a nice dry bar, custom cabinets. We have our white quartz countertops, decorative backsplash. I love the lighting fixtures. They did a wonderful job uh, decorating. Now for the grand reveal. Follow me, follow me. You ready for this? <laughs> what in the hell is this? This is such a massive bedroom. I'm deliberately walking around just to give you a sense of space. This is freaking huge. Obviously we have these massive windows. What's neat about these windows is we are on that fairway. We have views of the entire city. I can see the strip through these trees. This is sensational. It's beautiful, beautiful. But this is so huge. The one funny thing is if you were in bed, 
where's the TV go? You're not putting it in front of the window. So you're either gonna have to have a drop down projection or one of those OLEDs that uh, roll up that you can put in front of the television in a cabinet. Um, now for the bed, we have really wonderful pendant lights instead of sconces. Love that they put the thermostat right next to the bed. That's pretty convenient. All right, we've seen this part. Now let's go and head and check out the bathroom for this alternate primary suite. Kind of neat, we have a two-way electric fireplace, so that you don't normally see too often, but very modern, very minimal, very neat. We have this little bench under the window. I don't know that you're gonna use it, maybe cut your toenails or something. I don't know, I'll make yourself up. Um, I love this area. This is very nice. I love the cabinetry instead of the flat finishes that we've been seeing. This is a little bit more rich, has some texture. The white quartz above mount sinks, those gears that I absolutely loved right here, wonderful. Now, before we get to the shower, one thing that's kind of odd is, remember downstairs we had the his and his, her and her, his and her toilets, however we're supposed to say that. This is like another primary suite, but in here we just have the original toilet and a bidet, not the dual toilets. So, not sure if you're going downstairs or upstairs or what. But let's check out this shower, because this is pretty awesome. So this has become very, very popular recently, having the tub inside the shower surround. I don't know that I'm the biggest fan of it. Ashley and I were talking earlier and she had a great point that I never would have thought of. Most women take baths as opposed to men. In most women, you shower first and then jump in the bathtub. So now I can wrap my head around the fact that you shower right here, you're not getting any water anywhere and you just go right into the tub. I'll buy that. Guys, what do you think? But I do love what they did. The tile in here is fantastic. You've got a 24 by 48 inch tile surround. Looks like solid granite, looks wonderful. And then again, we've got our gear shifts for the shower controls. We've got two shower heads, and then we have these beautiful hardware. I just love this. I love the rubber hose look, very elegant. But what's odd is we have two shower heads, but no rainfall shower head, uh, no body washers. Kind of a weird one, but what do you guys think? Am I just making stuff up to complain about or eh, just seemed odd to me. All right, now we have seen the secondary primary suite bathroom. Let's check out some really cool stuff. Heading back over this direction, I know you guys are gonna comment. It's like an elephant in the room here. Guys, it's Vegas, man, it's Vegas. Sometimes you just don't ask questions. We all know what these swings are for, but they're cool. All right, over here, this is kind of neat. Over here, we have a walk-in closet. Obviously, over here, it's set up for shoes. We can put sweaters, whatever. It's nice, it's simple, but you ain't seen nothing yet. Check this out, this is awesome. This is a closet. This may be the best closet that we've seen so far but beautiful, beautiful custom cabinetry, crystal chandelier. We have a nice sitting area here. Over in this direction, we have this lovely, lovely drawer pulls uh, for your jewelry, for your watches. I mean, what more do you want? Separate closet for your shoes, warms my heart, plenty of room for your clothing. I'm a fan. Guys, tell me what you think. All right, we've seen the entire upstairs, we've seen downstairs. We should be going and checking out the backyard. But wait, there's more. So let's go right back to the front door because there's one surprise left in this house that I've got to show you. So let's meet you at the front door. I'll see you in one second. Okay, remember when we first started this video, I told you there was something lurking behind door number one. Now we get to see it. Ta-da! Oh man, that's not that exciting, is it? But trust me, come down and you're gonna dig this one. Come on down, let's check this out. All right guys, now we are in the basement. Now this might not seem like a big deal to most of you guys in the Midwest or the East Coast, but on the West Coast, especially here in Vegas, not many homes have basements, so this is pretty amazing. And guess what? There's recessed lighting in here. All right. Over here to your left, we have a storage area, so that's great for games, toys, et cetera, et cetera. And like I told you earlier, this room right here is your wine room, so this is perfect for storing the bulk of your inventory. This doesn't have a bathroom. If there was plumbing, this would have been really, really neat to actually put a bathroom so you don't have to walk upstairs 
when you're in the basement, maybe watching a movie. Speaking of movies, this is a perfect place for a movie theater. While we do have windows for natural light and for escape, it's really for the escape plan. So black those out, now you got a real basement. This is where the orientation would be for the movie theater screen. There isn't surround sound, there isn't any plumb for it, but obviously we can make that happen. All right, we have completely finished this entire interior of the property. It has been fantastic. We've had surprises everywhere, but for the very end of finale, let's finish up in the backyard. I'll meet you guys right out there. All right, guys, welcome to the backyard. Now behind me, this is where you would be exiting from the family room, and over here is the kitchen area. Again, you can kind of see how, if this was a 15, 20 foot slider, how amazing this space would be instead. Uh, even so, if you really wanted to, you could corner them and have this entire place blown out. Now let's check out a little bit more of this outdoor space. Now this is a little bit odd looking right now, I realize, but think of this more as a shell. So over here, we have bar stools in the pool. So how awesome in the summertime, passing margaritas, passing food, really, really neat. Now again, this is just a cavity, but you can see right here, we have a, a gas stub which implies we would have an outdoor barbecue. So imagine all of this as an outdoor kitchen, and then I would make a pergola over here and cover this so when you're cooking, you're in the shade, passing drinks, maybe a television. This would be really, really cool to get creative with. All right, coming back up, now we're gonna check out a little bit more of the pool. Um, here we have more of a normal, basic plaster pool. Obviously, we saw the bar stools. That was really neat. We have this sensational view of the fairway. Not the most private, as you can see these guys right behind me. Coming over here, we do have kind of a smaller Baja shelf. Uh, most likely when this was built, it wasn't quite a big thing, but we do have a hole for the umbrella here. So you do have the ability to create some shade and you could probably put two chase lounges kind of veering on a V. Now, coming over here, this again is what we're talking about. This patio area, this is coming in from the formal living room and then down this area this was the first primary suite that we saw so hiding behind the post there you are <laughs> over here this was that first primary suite so again imagine if this were completely blown out being able to look outside coming over in this direction we have a huge grassy space so this is great for kids to play for your fur babies to do their business and then we have like a little conversation pit fire pit um really wraps it up guys you tell me what do you guys think about this house this is a massive home in anthem country club so guys keep in mind that the land alone here is very expensive you're on a golf course and this is 7,000 plus square feet it's a huge home but you tell me is this worth 3.5 million dollars what are your favorite parts of the home do you love that there's two primary suites I don't think we've ever seen on this scale of dual primary suites. Well guys, that wraps up this entire video. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Jason Abrams for allowing me to shoot his property. And other than that, I will see you guys on the next one. And of course, deuces.